Hey guys, it's me, Cleo. Uh, I kind of screwed up a bit. Um, I forgot to start recording. Uh, on, we only missed like... Oh, yeah, you only missed like a minute where I was like just talking to Bayan and being like, Yo, I'm hanging out. Uh, one of the part-time workers at the old pickaxe compa complained about having to move like a whole bunch of rock salt and like germ showed up and he's like, Whoa, this place has a lot of hammers. There are so many nails and that about sums it up. But yeah, in the last episode, we explored the town and, uh, f screwed up in trying to hang out with Horror Movie Kid, and instead hung out with Germ. And in this part, as you can see, we are hanging out with Bea. So, uh, I believe we are getting groceries for her dinner, and in this place that killed the food donkey. Food? Listen, let me finish my chant, okay? Donkey! Hell yeah! I did not know that the senator's on the Ham Panther board, huh? What? We're the one that, like, forcibly hung out with her, May. Be, be nice, at least. Come on. All right. A few things quick, huh? We are hanging out. We're getting groceries together. That's nice. <laughs> are you sure that's a good idea? Especially with, like... Because I'd be controlling May. I know nothing about cooking. I'm also a picky eater. I don't know what goes well with each other. Because I don't eat a whole lot of variety. My palate's very small. And... Kinda sucks. Um, can we? Oh, yeah. Just invite ourselves over because that's that's super polite. Uh, listen. All right, let's uh, let's go. All right. I will try not to create. Uh, like a huge abomination. A main course and two sides. Fancy! Uh, yeah, we'll stop by the... Once we pick up whatever mounts. Okay. <laughs> We're on a budget. No broccoli. Got it. No shoplifting either. Damn. So no broccoli, no shoplifting. You're putting us on, like, quite the leash. Alright, let's go. What's up? We need a canned good or something. Okay. Uh, I got a bit into this before I realized I wasn't recording, but... Uh, so, Skatash, Skatash, I have no idea what this is. Uh, greeny beans, I'm assuming that's, like, beans... Uh, and cream of chicken soup. And then over here would be like... We got some mac and cheese! Uh, tasty taters. Mashed potatoes. And nice rice. So with these two, I'm just trying to like, picture like, a, a, a like... A stereotypical dinner in my mind. I seem to recall like peas or beans and stuff going being paired with mashed potatoes a bunch and I like mashed potatoes so we're gonna do those two um and then in here let's not get spinach let's get some quick skits hell yeah and then we are not getting the bakey shaky because I don't know what that that sounds like that sounds not like it would go with what we've decided on. Yeah, let's go to the deli for the meats. And this is about where I got before I realized I'm like, oh damn, I'm not recording. And this game auto saves. Crap. Hey there, Dad. What's going on? Yeah. That's good, that's good. 
stew in the meats, your meat friends? I'm sure it does. As opposed to where else? The alternatives? Okay. Oh yeah? Mr. Armistead. What a name. Good for him. Happy for him. A greeter. And... <laughs> why is she asking this like this late? Alternatives? Not working? Listen, Dad. You know, doing some doing some shopping. Good to hear. Uh, I don't think fish or ground beef really match. I'm thinking pork chops or chicken. Uh, but I don't. Again. I don't know re really I don't really know what's good with each other so I'm gonna go pork chops and pull the trigger piglet let's hope I don't create an abomination for dinner with this and yeah bear should definitely come by just about anything huh also, Bea's cigarette is still floating in her mouth, and it still bugs me. Just, like, move it a couple pixels to the left, like, a couple down, so it, like, lines up with her mouth, please? Yeah, let's get our meats! Oh, it... It'll be fine. Yes, okay. I'm glad. I hope this goes all right. I don't want to ruin her dinner. It was something. Hey, going... Even, like, those sorts of tasks are, like, sweet and, like, nice to do if it's someone you like. And I know you don't like me very much, but I like you, so, you know. Your sarcasm is not valid. <laughs> Woohoo! The silence is deafening. <laughs> Dinner time! Hey, Bea's dad. Is this okay? Just alright? It'll do? Thanks? I'm glad? No problem. Okay, now I'm scared as to what she'll say after this, but I've got I I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I got a really good grade in home act back in school. Oh, hey, nice. Did you? I forget what your shirt looks like. Uh, any money in it? Hey, sometimes you get it attached to your pants. Up till the fix. Nice. I don't know what day it is, but nice. Should be fine. Should. Who's Rob? I know I'm still barging in, so it's like, of course I'm not gonna have context to your conversations, but like, who's Rob? Alright. All right, okay. It's hard to tell tone, but like, I don't... He's kind of being a jerk there, I think. Smelters? Mm, 
thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it somewhat. What's over here? Can I raid the fridge? No? Okay. Seems kind of like a strained... A friendly but strained home relationship? Uh... I don't know anything about sports, not really. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Pretty religiously, huh? <laughs> okay, is... There's... This is the room, alright. Ten months ago, alright. You know, just never get around to it. It happens. Yeah, pretty cool record player. As far as record players go, alright. Oh yeah? They're neat, I think. We have one downstairs. I believe. You never really use it, but it still works alright, I think. Should put one on just randomly and see, see what my mom says. Just put one on and then walk away and just not even acknowledge it. <laughs> She'd be like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, there's, they're, they're pretty retro. <laughs> Things get less retro with age. What do you mean? Uh huh. Shoot. Uh. I don't know what I want. Want to pick? I feel like the answer to this is nothing. So I'm gonna go with your dad's kind of up and down, huh? Oof. I get you. I get you. I'm sure it's not the same though. Yeah, Greg's definitely more like. He makes the best of it, whatever, and just doesn't want, like, to bring other people down with him. That too. A years-long breakdown, huh? Damn, man. Pretty much. That's... that's how it goes. Every day. Let it all out, Bea. I'm kind of dead weight right now, but I'm here for you regardless. Well, she can't quit. Like, she's gotta get her money, and she can't just abandon her dad, really. But, yeah, I do think she should stand up for herself a little more. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's not right that she just rolls over and takes it. Yeah, you're doing all the work, he's getting all the credit. Yeah, I don't know what wording is the best, but like... Breast. Uh-huh. Yeah? Okay. Uh-huh. 
Uh, I'm not following, yeah. It's kind of disgusting. Yeah, it's not your responsibility, but the reality of the situation is different than what we think is best. And it's it's unfortunate. It sucks. Bea's in a super shitty position, but there's not really much she can do about it right now. And, like, she should do something about it, but there's not much she can reasonably do. <laughs> no argument there, but it definitely is badass and shit. <laughs> That's not... Yeah. Ah! It's true. I mean, you can always choose. It's just a lot of times there's no right choice, so you just gotta go with... Tell it, yeah. Tell your dad you're not gonna take it. It's got a point, it is kinda rude. Exactly, that's what I was thinking. There's not a whole lot she can do there. Yeah, just start this big drum. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, it, it it's just not right. I want to drop this. But there's May is not letting me drop this because like I know this isn't the time and place to be bringing this up, <laughs> and I do want to help Bea with this, but like assaulting her about it when she's obviously distressed, it's not the right way to go about it. It's true, the whole effing world sucks. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I am sorry. I mean, we were earlier, but I got stuck in a basement. It's true. It's not. That sounds stressful AF. I probably should. Yeah. What's up, man? Pork will do. I'm sorry, Bea. And Panther Dinner, fight? Dad, how did I mess this up? I wanted to help. I am garbage. Football. I know you had the best intentions, May, but sometimes intentions aren't enough. 
What's up, Dad? What's going on? Long day, I bet. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> well... Yeah, me either, now that you mention it. <laughs> Maybe I'm there all the time, father. Yeah, you too. Lurk, lurk. Yeah, I'm almost tired. Yeah, everyone's stressed. Payroll and everything. Oh man, ain't that the truth. <laughs> At least more specific. Oh, fun. <laughs> Cheer up, kiddo. Life sucks. Deal with it. Yeah, how about those crawl space boxes? TV time? Hell yeah. Darbo and Mally. I once again forget the voices I gave each of them. I believe Guy Face It. I believe this guy was silly voice, another guy was serious voice. And we're back. Great crowd in here tonight. We'd never leave for too long, folks. Say, Garbo. Yeah, Malloy? Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. Most of them, anyway. No, I mean, those old nights. Those good nights. Just the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. Oh. These days, things are pretty gushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are. Around the midsection. That's a whoop -a. Okay. Malloy, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Garbo. Why is that, Malloy? I'm what you call body shameless. <laughs> okay. Coming up next, Garbo and I go to counseling. What? Alright. Whatever, man. I'm going to bed, Dad. New. Oh, got to check. The grandfather clock, and the burb, and the books. Nothing. Alright. Alright, up the stairs we go! And into... No, we gotta check. Yeah, excuse me. We gotta check our laptop for... first. Hi! Hi! Hey, Greg! What's up? Oh, why is that? Yeah, yeah, I get you. I mean, as I said, you had good intentions. You just don't know the full, don't understand the full situation. So you kind of gotta the asshole twins. Oh man, let's do it. With giant asshole patches on the sleeves. See ya. Bea? No? Yeah? Yeah. See you later, Bea. Sleep well. What's this say today? Home Dome. Mortgage got you down? New app allows you to rent out your bathroom as a public toilet. Nope! No, thank you. Good night. <laughs> Alright, so... Well, before I call it quits, I gotta see if there's, like, a dream section or not. Because there's been a lot of those lately, and by a lot, I mean, like, two. And... There is indeed a dream section. Oh boy, it is windy. And it is dropping the frame rate. Fantastic. Alright, let's... Are we on a train? 
So it's not windy, we're just on the, the back of a train. Okay. Well, what's to the left, I guess? Ooh, colors in the night sky. Ah yes, more of these musical boys. What happens if I jump off the back? Nothing. Alright. Alright! Now we gotta take the long road back to the front where we came from. And then continue down the front of the train. <laughs> and also triple jumping everywhere, because that's how I do. Alright. Once again, there's four. I guess we're gonna have to make our way back here to the start again. Alright, well, let's climb this way, I guess. Um... All right. Uh, is there anything over here we can do? Jump. All right. Uh, I actually did not expect that to work, and we can't stand on the lamp posts. Okay. All right. Is this standable? Yes. Thank goodness. Can I jump over here? I think I'm gonna have to, so hop, skip, jump. It didn't triple jump, I'm so mad. Ah, uh, come on. Well, now we gotta climb back up there again. God damn. And here we go. I can't wait to hear more of this song and see, like, how it actually goes. Alright, let's actually make this jump this time, shall we? Hop, skip, jump. Why did the triple jump not work? Alright, let's start from here. Hop, skip, jump. There we go. We got it. There we go, now we finally have two parts of the song. Alright, so... Let's go up here to Possum Springs Deep Hollow Country. That is another train. Alright, that was spook... spooky. I'm guessing the next one is... up here? Hey, there's a shadow figure up there. I... Don't like that. Hey, hey, man. Are you friendly? I hope you're friendly. Alright, now we get three out of four. Let's just jump down here and see where this brings us. Thank you for not having fall damage game, by the way. Can't jump off the front of the train either. Alright, well, let's just see if we can't find that last musical boy, shall we? It's probably, like, down here on top of the houses or something, if I had to guess. Like, if we jump off this, we might make it... Can we walk on this? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, there it is! And now we must make our way back to the start and activate whatever crazy animal dream we got going this time. Still don't know what these dreams mean, but, you know. Oh, well, that's like a snake or something. Great, fantastic, get eaten by a snake. <laughs> well, anyway, I believe that is all for this episode. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. In the next episode, we will explore town once again. I will see you then.